What is happening guys? My name is Jamie, this is the Norwich Reptile Shed and in this video I'm going to be making some improvements to one of my false water cobra vivariums. So before we get started, if reptile enclosure builds, general reptile keeping and just doing cool stuff with reptiles is your thing, make sure to hit the subscribe button and check the description out for some links to other things like Patreon and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so here it is. It's, uh, I say it's one of the newest ones. It's not the newest one. Um, obviously we have the pine snake build and we have the the other false water cobra vivarium build as well. But this one has just seemed to have just gone a bit wrong. Um, I don't like it. It's definitely one of the worst ones in the shed. Uh, the plants died. The lighting isn't good, which is strange because it's the same lighting as the other setups. But something's just not right in here. It's just it's just dark. Maybe it's because it's down here in a little bit of a dingier corner. It doesn't get as much light as the other vivariums. Um, the only exception to all these is the pine snake viv, where I installed a another floodlight in here just to brighten this area up, uh, and that has inspired me to do what we're going to do in this vivarium. But we're going to go even better. Hopefully, we'll see. Um, but first of all, let's uh, let's just talk about what else we've got to do. So, yeah, we're going to pull the plants out. We're going to scrape most of the soil out. Um, and we'll look under all the decor and stuff. Um, I'm going to whip this this uh, unnatural hide out that's in here um, in exchange for some more natural pieces of wood that we need to go and collect from the woods. Uh, and then we're going to add fresh new soil in um with a bit of a more of a composty mix in there as well to try and support the soil uh, to try and support the plants i mean um and then we're going to redo it with new plants um and just see what we can do and some new decor because i don't really like just this piece here i think that's a bit rubbish and it doesn't actually use the space up a lot um, and then obviously we need to clean the glass as well because this is a couple of weeks of owning a false water cobra they get in the water they get wet they splash it all over the glass. Uh, it's a nightmare. <laughs> it's an absolute nightmare. So we'll clean the glass up. Um, and then, uh, yeah, but first of all, we need to get the false water cobra out. And then we're going to do some stuff with the lights. Okay, so it's definitely the wrong time to be doing this. Um, it's like mid-afternoon. So she's been cooking all day. So we might need the hook. We might not. Um, she's not like mega aggressive. Just not great. <laughs> I don't really handle her. So uh, yeah, let's now put her in a tiny box and see how that goes. Hello. Get him up. There we go. So here we go, I've whipped the glass out just so we can see a little bit clearer. Um, and what the problem I think is, we've obviously got a really damp area over here, which is a bit dark, um, due to the light being more focused towards this side and the middle. Um, and then this side, even though we've got some plants growing, um, this is doing quite well, kind of well, not great. I mean, nothing does particularly great when a false water cobra is involved because they just crush everything. But that has potential to, to have a little bit of life left in it. But it's a lot more drier down here. So, um, yeah, I need... I mean, the soil... Yeah, the soil is, is fairly moist as you go in. So it's not the end of the world, but I just think that there just isn't enough light in here. And I'm possibly not spraying the plants down enough. Um, and I must have something's gone wrong with this monstera. So probably lack of light. We're going to blame lack of light for most of this. Um, so I think what we need to do now is kind of uh, whip all this out, all the decor out, um, and end up with just a bit of a base layer of substrate to build up on. And then um, we're going to look at doing the electrics. And I'll talk. 
I will talk to you about what I plan on uh, installing to try and boost the uh, the lux in here. Okay, so we're sort of back at a blank canvas really. I'm gonna keep this soil because as you can see, it is chock a block full of, uh, full of life, which I was quite surprised about. I thought this vivarium had really, uh, this, this sort of habitat had, had just died, but in here was hiding quite a lot of uh, orange and gray uh, woodlouse. So that's quite cool. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy to see the grays in there. The oranges, you know, I can take or leave them. Uh, but the, the grays are really useful for, um, for a lot of stuff. I haven't had a proper look for springtails or anything, but I can add that in later anyway. So really what I need to do now is look at the lighting. So uh, let me grab the lights. And we'll have a little look. So you can come with me. Let's go and have a look at the lights. Oh, all right, so these are the lights I'm thinking of adding in, which are the same as what I added in with the uh, baby or the smaller pine snake. She's not really the baby pine snake anymore because she's not a baby. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to add two of these in. One on the one on the hot end and one on the cooler end facing in. Um, for two reasons. One, this is a cheap way of really increasing the lux. These are like less than eight pounds and they are a thousand lumen. So quite bright. Um, and uh, for the money, that's good. They're 10 watts each. Um, so for the electricity bill, that's pretty good as well. Yeah, here we go. Let's, uh, let's get these fitted and see what happens. And I'll stop talking about lights and watts and things. That's a good improvement. Look at that. All that soil lit up. Very nice. So uh, yeah, I've fitted uh, one just back up here, shining down in this area. And we've got one that's up here that's currently kind of adjustable, but I've got it kind of light in this area up here, which is pretty cool. So uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. So next up really is a case of finding some decor and just generally rebuilding this better than how I had it at the start. Um, yeah, so uh, we'll have a little switch over and I'll go grab some stuff and I'll see you back here when I have got some bits. So I've actually got down here, I've got some more cocoa fibre husks that I'm going to throw in there. Uh, and then I've been out and collected loads of leaf litter um, so I'm going to kind of use half of this to mix into the substrate and then the other half is just going to be on top of the substrate afterwards. So uh, yeah, let's crack on. We're going to bulk this up. I've got some other ingredients as well. Uh, a little bit of uh, organic um, feed free, fertilizer free kind of compost to mix in there. Bit of cocoa fiber uh, and then this husk as well just to bulk the soil up, get a little bit more deeper areas. Um, so yeah, let's crack on. Look at this, <laughs> yeah. So um, I've I've got so I've got some more pieces basically um, to to throw in here. Um, this big piece here is going to kind of act as a bit of a hide area because up till now I've used like a plastic hide in this vivarium. Whereas every other thing that I build, I always use like natural hides. So this is going to create a real nice area probably all the way along the back that um, she'll be able to hide behind um, which is going to be cool um, and obviously going to then put in the old stuff as well and just have a bit of a redecoration um, and throw some plants in and see if we can make this thing look a bit better now that we know we've got better lighting we've got better substrate um, yeah add the decor in put the plants in hopefully we have a bit of a variant
there we go. Uh, that's looking pretty cool. I like it. I like it a lot. So we've got our water bowl back there and on the cool side, nice and easy to access. Uh, a few little things we've got going on. So we've got philodendron scandens going on in there. Um, some epiprenums, uh, a few different species or two different species of that in there uh, and two different uh, two long cuttings of uh, of the scandens um, at the moment so I'm going to leave that in there. The scandens is a really good plant for low light so hopefully hmm, we'll see. It all depends how good my cuttings were. Um, I have, have rooted them um, so uh, hopefully that's enough for them to take off. Um, we've obviously got all our basking spots um, and our rocks back there. That does look quite low, but you've got to remember this is a three foot tall enclosure. Um, so yeah, she, she can't really get to that heating area too much anyway, um, the, the actual lamp holder. So um, yeah, and the false water cobras, they aren't big climbers. So um, yeah, a few little sort of low level stuff. She can get off the ground, she can get to different heights. And most importantly, she can completely disappear along the back. Uh, all these different thermal gradients um, so uh, yeah really cool um, I think really the next job is to uh, put her in let's uh, let's go and grab the snake So there you have it guys, another update, build kind of thing going on. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video guys. As always, I will keep you up to date with how these vivariums get on. If they need stuff doing to them, then I will do things to them and I will show you what I do. Uh, and that's how we learn and we evolve and we try to do things better. So thank you very much for checking this video out guys. If you like the video please hit the like button, let me know in the comments and also if you want to support the channel in any way uh, head over to Patreon uh, and also hit that subscribe button if you haven't done it yet. Thank you very much and I'll catch you guys in the next video.